a simple house or a luxury house who wants to live in a simple house of course i'm going to choose a luxury house wow this house looks like a palace honey what have you done how come our house looks so luxurious i got the option to choose between a luxury house and a simple house and i chose the luxury house mom whoa this way i don't have to be ashamed anymore if any of our neighbors decide to come visit do you guys want to come mines after school of course your house is so luxurious i wonder what amara's house looks like i've seen it it's really disgusting hey what are you guys talking about why are you talking to us what did i do wrong you are wrong because you're not rich let's go jenny what this year our class sleepover is going to be at jenny's house again okay i don't mind sleeping at hers her house is beautiful unlike amara's house guys don't you want to come to my house i'm having a birthday party there in your smelly house <laughs> it sucks i don't want to come i don't want to come either it's dirty but my house is not as old as you think don't lie i've seen you go to your house after school it looks really dirty enough all right amara i'll give you a chance everyone's going to your birthday party but if your house is what everyone's saying it is the sleepover will be at jenny's house okay sir i understand they'll soon know the truth but i have to get ready before they come i wonder what the reaction will be like Oh my god, that must be them. I can't wait to see Jenny's reaction. Hello, guys. Whoa, is this really your house, Amara? Yes, sir. This is my house. I can't believe it, sir. I saw her once go home after school, but it wasn't in this house. Amara, is this really your house or are you lying to me? Of course not, sir. This is my house. Why would I be lying? I don't believe her. She doesn't want to admit that this house isn't hers. This house is too beautiful to be Amara. Okay, I'll give you 24 hours to prove that this house is really yours. And if you can't prove it, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house again. Okay, sir. What happened, honey? My classmates and my teacher think that I'm lying about this house being mine. But why didn't you prove to them that the house is yours? How can I do that? You can show them the contract of this house, but the contract is still with your dad and he's overseas. So I have to wait for him to come back? My teacher only gave me 24 hours to prove it, mom. Your dad's coming home tonight. Don't worry. All right, mom. I'm going for a walk. I'm so angry. Of course that house isn't Amara's, but she won't admit it. But if it's true that the house is hers, the sleepover will be there every year and not at your house anymore. Of course not. She's lying. I've seen her house. It's not the one we went to today. My dad's not home yet. Honey, I'm home. Dad, finally. Did you have the contract for the house? Yeah, your mom told me you needed it, right? Here you go. Thank you so much, Dad. This is going to solve all my problems. It's almost been 24 hours and Amara still hasn't proven that the house is hers. See, sir, I told you she was lying. If she doesn't prove it quickly, the sleepover will be at yours and she'll get kicked out of school for lying. I'm sure the house isn't hers. I have to show them. Sorry I'm late, sir. Did you bring what I asked for? Jenny, why did she come to school? I thought she wouldn't come because she doesn't have proof. Yes, sir, I brought it. Here you go. Good. Now, let's see if the house is really yours. Oh my god, so that luxurious house is really yours, Amara? That house is really Amara? Yes, see, sir. I wasn't lying about the house being mine. Jenny, are you ready to leave school? Amara wasn't lying. I'm sorry, sir. Please don't kick me out of the school and keep the sleepover at my house. Because my house is still more luxurious than Amara's. Jenny, the sleepover was at your house last year. Your house is really luxurious, but Amara's even more. But that was last year, sir. My house has changed. It's more luxurious now. Okay, students, let's go to Jenny's later to see the current state of our house. Okay, sir. Sir, can I go too? Of course, Amara. All students in class can go. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't want Amara to come to my house. Well, why not? You went to my house too, and I didn't care about it, even though you called me a liar. It's my house, and when I say no, it means no. Why doesn't Jenny want me to go to her house? What does she have against me? I feel sorry for you, Amara. Even though I'm friends with Jenny, I'm sorry. You don't have to feel sorry, Olivia. You know what? Just come with me to Jenny's house. If she says anything, I'll take the blame. Okay. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Olivia. Wait, why did you bring Amara here? Oh, come on. Just let her in. You feel sorry for her, don't you? Do you want to get removed from our friend group? No, Jenny, but... Hey, what's that noise? Can you guys stop fighting? Amara, come on in. Whoa, your house has changed a lot. Yes, sir. I hope you like it so that the sleepover can continue to be here. Okay, I've made my decision. This year's class sleepover will be a... Change face or change stomach with my soulmate. If I choose to change stomach, he might eat something spicy. Then my stomach's gonna hurt. So I'll choose to change face. 
Huh? In three hours, I'll be swapping faces with my soulmate? That means soon I'll know if he's ugly or beautiful. Amara, I'm so sad. Why? Because I chose to change my face with my soulmate, but what if he's ugly? I chose the same thing, but at least it's better than swapping stomachs. Actually, I'm a bit scared. I wonder what my soulmate's face will look like. Aren't you ashamed of training face with your soulmate? Your face is so boring. It would look ugly on anyone. I think I should add makeup on before swapping face with my soulmate. That way, he won't think that my face is boring. Okay, I'm ready. <gasps> There's five minutes left before I swap my face with my soulmate. Hey, Amara. Oh, hi. I chose to change my face with my soulmate. You also chose to swap your face with your soulmate? Yes, I'll change my face with her in two hours. Two hours? But the time above my head is different than yours. Oh, so you're not my soulmate. I guess not. Okay, time is almost up. It's time for me and my soulmate to swap faces. Three, two, one. It's time for me and my soulmate to switch faces. Three, two, one. Wait, I feel like I've seen this face before. Anyway, thank God my soulmate is not ugly. He's kind of handsome. Ryan, please take me out on a date. So his name is Ryan? Don't listen to her, take me out instead. Why do all the girls like him? Sorry girls, but I'm not gonna cheat on my soulmate. Hey Ryan, wait, why are you dressed like um, a girl? No reason. Anyway, did you still want to go to gym after school and lift some weights? Your arms look skinny. Gym? Yeah, why not? Hey, Ryan, come here. Yes, sir? Why haven't you been in school for the past five days? Um, I was, uh, sick. Yeah, right. Come with me. I'm giving you a detention for the whole the day. The whole day? But I didn't do anything. I have to quickly find my soulmate so we can switch faces again. Hey, Ryan, there's a girl named Amara. She's looking, She's for, looking me. for me? Where is she? Just down the hall. Okay, distract the teacher while I sneak out of class. Wait, is that how I look like to others? Finally, I got my face back. Hey, I'm Ryan. It's nice to meet you. I'm Amara. Nice to meet you too. It was pretty weird having your face. Everyone thought I was you. Plus, you have like a lot of girls crushing on you. Don't worry about them. I'm surprised we go to the same school, but I've never seen you before. I mean, it is a pretty big school. True. You want to have lunch together? Sure, I'm down. But um, I think you should finish that detention first. Detention? For what? Your total's 20 even. Babe, I'm so sorry. I don't think I have enough. Hey, it's okay. I got it. Sorry if I embarrassed you back there. No, you're fine. I understand you're going through a tough time with your job. Tomorrow when the amount in my bank account appears, it might come as a bit of a shock to you. Listen, I don't care how low that number is. I'm going to love you just the same. Poor thing. It's time to see how little he has. What? My boyfriend is a billionaire? No, there has to be some sort of mistake. I, uh... Take it you saw my account? Yeah, and you've got a lot to explain. Whose Ferrari is in our driveway? That's mine. Well, actually, it's going to be yours now. What? No, I am still mad at you. Come with me and I'll explain everything. There was a good reason for me lying. Oh yeah? Was there a good reason for you having me buy your meals for the past year? Heck, I even paid your rent one time. I know, I know. And I'll be paying you back for all of it. Why didn't you just tell me? Because every girl I've ever dated has used me for my money. I was tired of dating gold diggers, and I wanted to find a girl who liked me for me. I promise, I will make it all up to you, and I'm going to start by showing you where I really live. Whoa, now hold up. You have a Chick-fil-A in your kitchen? Yep, and there's a McDonald's upstairs. <laughs> Babe, who are you, Richie Rich? Excuse me for just a moment. This is crazy. One of my stocks just went up. A lot. Yeah, actually, I can see that. Why don't you look happy? I'm worried about your safety. You can't tell anyone that you're dating a billionaire. Why can't people know I'm dating a billionaire? Because I'm now one of the youngest billionaires alive. And is that a bad thing? I know a lot of people that would die to get their hands on my money. And you think they'll come after me? I know they will. Promise me you won't tell anyone about my money. Okay, I promise, but you do owe me quite a bit of cash, so what do you say? You take me on a little shopping spree? Well, I can't be seen buying you a bunch of stuff, but I can give you this. Babe, this is like 10k. You didn't owe me this much. I know. 
Consider it a thank you for being so kind to me. I want you to spoil yourself. Oh, hey, Lizzie. Where's your boyfriend? He's at his house. Why? Oh, nothing. I just think it's kind of sad how he never buys you anything. I mean, look at all the stuff you had to buy yourself. It must be hard to date someone poor. Actually, he's not poor. He's one of the richest people alive. What? <gasps> did you enjoy your shopping spree? Uh, yeah, sure did. Good. I also bought you this necklace. Babe, it's beautiful. Thank you. Delivery for Elizabeth? Yes, how much do I owe you? Oh, it's not you who's gonna owe me money. It's your boyfriend. Lizzie, it's 1 a.m. Why are you up? This isn't Lizzie, but if you want to see her again, you're gonna do exactly as I said. You want me to wire you one billion dollars? Yeah, do it now or she's gone. No, I'll send it. It's done. Now let me speak to her. Okay, talk. Liam, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I accidentally told someone that you were... It's okay. I planned for this. Remember that necklace I gave you? Yeah. It's a tracker, babe. No! Please, freeze! Thank you, Liam. I'm glad you were able to get your money back. I don't care about the money. I'm just happy you're okay. Mom, where's my allowance for this month? Honey, your dad left, so no more allowance. How am I going to buy food at the canteen? Be patient. Huh? Guess the name of a psychopath or a prince? I'm scared of psychopaths. So, honey, if you guess his name, you'll earn money and your balance will increase. My balance will increase? Oh, only four letters. Um, I guess R. Oh. Honey, careful. You can't try to guess the name like that. If you're wrong three times, something bad will happen to you. I can only get it wrong three times, but I already got it wrong once. I'm going to school. Bye. Lend me your phone. A! The first letter is A? That's good, you guessed the letter. Yeah, I'm so happy, my balance just increased. Well, now there's only three letters left. You have to guess the name soon. They say whoever's first to complete the name will earn an extraordinary balance. Seriously? Then I have a chance to become rich. Okay, now I have to guess. Can you get out of the way? Oh, sorry, you dropped your book. Liam? That's not my name, it's my sister's name. Give me back my book. Okay. You know that boy I bumped into earlier? Do you know who he is? Oh yeah, he's the biggest nerd in school. He spends all his time studying. Well, he dropped his book and it said Liam on it. Book? Oh, he tells everyone it's his sister's name. I think he's lying. Okay, class, for this exercise, you have to tell me your favorite letter. My favorite letter is M. Yes, so the fourth letter of the prince's name is M. I need to finish this soon. K. It's wrong. Be careful, young lady. If you get it wrong again, something bad will happen to you. Something bad will happen to me, but I need to know the prince's name. No, you don't, because he already goes to your school. He goes to my school? <gasps> okay, I'm going to guess the next two letters. Wait, you can't just guess. Because if you're wrong one more time, something bad will happen to you. You're right. It's best I find out the prince's name first. Is there anyone at school whose name ends with an M? Why don't you just ask the class? Good idea. I'll go ask now. Hi guys, does anyone's name here end with an M? Mine does. No, it doesn't, Jake. And also, you're not the prince. Oh, come on, babe. Why are you like that? I've asked every single class and no one's name ends with an M. You again. Why are you always everywhere? I'm looking for a boy whose name ends with an M. No one in the school has a name that ends with an M. What's your name? My name's Rio. But why does it say Liam on his book? Maybe he's taking his name so that no one knows he's the prince. True. I really want to guess another letter, but I'm scared something bad will happen to me. Why don't you just find out if he really has a sibling or not? Good idea. I'll follow him after school. Okay, class. The lesson's over. You can go home. Okay, now it's time for me to follow that guy. I know you're following me. Me? I'm not following you. What do you want? I just wanted to look out for you in case someone followed you home. You don't have to make excuses. Just watch out. I don't want to see you following me again. Okay, okay. I'm not going to follow you. Excuse me, miss. Why were you arguing with that boy? We weren't arguing. I just wanted to meet his sister. His sister? As far as I know, he's an only child. 
He's an only child? Yes, everyone who lives in this area knows this. You didn't I know? I had a feeling he was lying. Okay, I'm gonna try to guess his name. Hopefully I'm right. I don't want anything bad happening to me. Liam. Dad, can you buy me makeup to cover up my birthmark? Makeup? I don't even know about these things. And anyway, you're too young. Are you being bullied at school because of your birthmark? No. Who made fun of your birthmark? Two girls in my class. Their names are Gemma and Sarah. Is that so? They're just jealous of you, honey, because you were born different. Jealous of me? Okay, thanks, Dad. Kids, for some reason, Sarah and Gemma has been transferred to another school. But before they leave, let's all say bye to them first. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Gemma. This is all your fault, Amara. We hate you. Dad, I'm going to school alone today. Please don't follow me. I'm so proud of you, honey. You're all grown up now. Thanks, Dad. Okay, I'm going to leave now. Bye. Why are you wearing a mask, Amara? Because... Take it off. Otherwise, I'll make all the girls at school make fun of you. Anyway, we all know about your bath mask. You're so ugly. I'm going to send a picture of you to the class group chat. Did you see the picture Emma sent of Amara? Yeah, that birthmark makes her look like a clown and her parents must be so ashamed of her. Hey, you two, don't speak to her like that. Do you want what happened to Sarah and Gemma to happen to you? They only got kicked out of school because Amara told her dad and snitched on them. Who tells you she can't snitch on you too? Just be careful with how you speak to her. Hey, Amara, come here. What is it? Sorry, I was just bored and your face annoys me. Hey, what's wrong with you punching Amara's face like that? Shut up, you might be handsome, but you're really stupid to be friends with that weirdo. Well, at least being handsome is better than being ugly and crazy. I'm gonna report you Please, no, just don't get involved. Amara, your eye is bruised. What if your dad sees you and finds out you're still being bullied at school? He won't find out. Trust me, you know your dad. He's really rich and very strict. Yes, but he's only rich because he's a mafia boss. What? A mafia boss? Yes, that's why I have to hide this bruise. Because if he finds out, whoever punched me won't be alive anymore. Don't even try hiding that bruise. Tell me who punched you now. Change face or change stomach with my soulmate? If I choose to change stomach, he might eat something spicy. Then my stomach's gonna hurt. So I'll choose to change face. Huh? In three hours I'll be swapping faces with my soulmate? That means soon I'll know if he's ugly or beautiful. Amora, I'm so sad. Why? Because I chose to change my face with my soulmate, but what if he's ugly? I chose the same thing, but at least it's better than swapping stomachs. Actually, I'm a bit scared. I wonder what my soulmate's face will look like. Aren't you ashamed of trading face with your soulmate? Your face is so boring. It would look ugly on anyone. I think I should add makeup on before swapping face with my soulmate. That way, he won't think that my face is boring. Okay, I'm ready. <gasps> Just five minutes left before I swap my face with my soulmate. Hey, Amara. Oh, hi. I chose to change my face with my soulmate. You also chose to swap your face with your soulmate? Yes, I'll change my face with her in two hours. Two hours? But the time above my head is different than yours. Oh, so you're not my soulmate. I guess not. Okay, time is almost up. It's time for me and my soulmate to swap faces. Three, two, one. It's time for me and my soulmate to switch faces. Three, two, one. Wait, I feel like I've seen this face before. Anyway, thank God my soulmate is not ugly. He's kind of handsome. Ryan, please take me out on a date. So, his name is Ryan? Don't listen to her, take me out instead. Why do all the girls like him? Sorry, girls, but I'm not going to cheat on my soulmate. Hey, Ryan, wait, why are you dressed like um, a girl? Um, no reason. Anyway, did you still want to go to gym after school and lift some weights? Your arms look skinny. Gym? Yeah, why not? Hey, Ryan, come here. Yes, sir? Why haven't you been in school for the past five days? Um, I was, uh sick yeah right come with me i'm giving you a detention for the whole the day. whole day but i didn't do anything i have to quickly find my soulmate so we can switch faces again hey ryan there's a girl named amara she's looking she's for looking me. for me where is she just down the hall okay distract the teacher while i sneak out of class wait is that how i look like to others finally i got my face back hey i'm ryan it's nice to meet you i'm amara nice to meet you too it was pretty weird having your face. Everyone thought I was you. Plus, you have like a lot of girls crushing on you. Don't worry about them. I'm surprised we go to the same school, but I've never seen you before. I mean, it is a pretty big school. True. You want to have lunch together? Sure, I'm down. But um, I think you should finish that detention first. Detention? For what? 